Great. Um, so my name is uh, Bentley James Oaks. Um, sorry, I can't be with you today. Um, I'm all the way up here in Montreal. Um, I'm an assistant professor at Polytechnique Montreal, which is in Canada. Um, yeah, I'm 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 happy. I've been having a few meetings with uh, the D the JPL team. They've done fantastic work on Open Caesar and OML. Um, for me, I really think that it's it's the next generation of um, you know perspective on on ontologies. How can we move it forward and and make it work well without dealing with lots of the accidental complexity um, that we find in some other tools? So uh, I'm very very excited about it. Um, so what I'm just going to talk about, it's a little bit of a, a higher level um, presentation of some of my past and, and, and current work. And I wanted to, um, yeah, just, just talk about my research thread. And if you want to collaborate or you want some more uh, information, please reach out to me. Um, I'm very interested um, in, in how to connect ontologies and digital twins. So what you see here is the big question. There's, there's, um, um, tens of dozens of definitions for what is a digital twin. Just to make it simple, it's a, I would say it's a dynamic vir virtual representation of a complex system. So you have some system, you're just doing a virtual representation of it, um, and you want to support you know, design, design services, operation services. Um, so this is very familiar to any system engineer. Um, one of, you know, a very simple digital twin, I've been working with some colleagues from Aarhus University, they have the incubator. So this incubator, you see it, um, that orange box there, it's just a heater in a box that tries to keep the temperature um, constant. So if you're incubating an egg or something. So you don't want the temperature to be too high and you don't want it to be too low. And on the right is a, a virtual representation of it, um, a digital twin within the Godot engine. Um, and so that digital twin, it can it can do many things. And you, we, we say that it can provide lots of services for the physical twin. So you can do things like you see the visualization. You can also have optimization to make sure that if someone opens the lid of the incubator, that the temperature is, is still constant. Um, anomaly detection, um, we are talking about a, a cybersecurity angle. Um, you know, can you actually detect that from, from the, the data uh, flowing back and forth? Um, and digital twins go farther than modeling and simulation. And it it's for me, it's really about going into the future. So getting into that, you know, what if simulation, if you have those high fidelity models, if you really understand your system, you can you can start to think in the future, not just what's happening now, but really, really in the future. Um, so in order to do that, you have to connect knowledge from multiple multiple domains. I mean, even in this simple, simple example, you know, there's a physical domain, the, the temperature domain, um, electrical control, all of that. So you have to understand that. I mean, that's why I think that there is such a um, an avenue for ontologies right now to capture all that domain knowledge and make sure that it's it's consistent. Next slide, please. Okay, so some of my past works, sorry about the title there. Um, yeah, looking at digital twins and ontologies. Um, in in that, that top paper there, what we we're talking about was historical and streaming digital twins. And, ju and just trying to map all this, this stuff out where we really saw that you have your data repositories and what you can do is you can put some ontologies and knowledge graphs on top of that. And that's your historical digital twin. And then you get your, your streaming digital twin, which the, the user can query um and you get answers to your questions so that so you have your historical data and then you get your streaming digital twin which is taking your data from the real system um so yeah that was my that was that was the beginning of my journey into applying ontologies to digital twins but what we found was that we really needed um a more powerful ontological tool so um it's a little bit too early for uh, for the open caesar approach um on the bottom there um this is a, another Another thread of research I've been looking at where one huge problem um, in the digital twin um, community is that people don't specify what exactly their digital twin does. So um, this was actually, um, I, I found it frustrating and I found that it was limiting the, res the research I could do. So what we talked about um, in that paper was 14 fundamental characteristics for describing digital twins. So this would be, you know, the multiplicity, how many, how many systems do you have? How many digital twins? What are the services your digital twin is providing? The models and data, and then the constellations, how they um, interact, and then the evolution. So what we wanted 
people to do was to say, here are 14 characteristics. Could you please report this when you talk about digital twins? And then in the future, we can do uh, further research and, and, and collect that all together. Next slide, please. Yeah, so that's um, getting into my current work, um, trying to look at, you know, um, ontologies and say, okay, well, how do we how do we help this reporting? So based on these 14 characteristics, on the left-hand side, you see um, I, I've taken OML and I've just done some very simple um, instances of, of services for the incubator. So really trying to specify the information. And what we're looking at now is getting this into the DevOps cycle and saying, okay, well, whenever you're updating your system, just provide a textual report on the top and, and just so that people can, can read, okay, what is this digital twin about? And then on the bottom, um, a project I'm gonna, I'm gonna start up soon, um, is really trying to put this into uh, a graphical form and have an interactive visualization so that you can look at that and get a, a better comprehensive overview of a digital twin and say, okay, well, well, that's how things um, relate. And these are the services and the neighbors and the model of the data. And, and you see that, that loop with your, with your real system. So that's um, one project um, I'm currently working on. Next slide, please. And just um, my last slide here, just to talk about, it's another research question is, okay, you, you're, you're building up a digital twin, you're, you're, you're putting all these pieces together and you have these different um, domain experts. And it's really, how can we capture that engineering process inside ontologies? So what do you see um, on the left there, um, the models and data, and then it goes into anomaly detector, and then you have an anomaly detection service. Well, how do you start to build that up? So what I have in the top right there is this is just a very simplified example process that uh, I'm very interested in modeling for developing these things and then doing the testing and then doing your deployment. So um, what I what I'm asking for for um, for the, for the community is that if you know of um, we're developing some ontology based um, workflow languages, but if there are any other languages that you know of as related work, I would really appreciate if you could uh, send those my way, just so we get a really nice overview of this field. Um, and then we wanna look at this and instantiate it um, for DT service engineering. What are some of those steps? And then um, perhaps in the future, uh, implement a tool to help the user on that. So um, that's my presentation. Again, please reach out to me uh, if you have any questions or comments. I would be happy to talk with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Bentley.